Are you ready to take your Power BI reports to next level? Introducing the KPI Visual by PowerVis, the ultimate tool for creating stunning, interactive, and insightful KPIs. With over 100 pre-built templates and ability to create up to 16 layers with 40 chart variations, the possibilities are endless. And the best part, no prior expertise is needed. The user-friendly interface allows you to design professional-grade visuals with just a few clicks. In this video, I'll walk you through the powerful features of this custom visual and show you how it can meet all your reporting needs. Let's dive into some real examples of what you can achieve with this KPI visual. Here we have a trend analysis KPI visual. Notice how the green and red indicators immediately show performance changes over time, giving you an instant snapshot of key trends. Next, let's look at comparative analysis. This visual allows you to compare key performance indicators across different time periods or categories, helping you identify pattern and insights quickly. Finally, let's take a look at the custom KPI cards. These cards not only display key metrics, but also use advanced formatting to highlight critical data points, ensuring that the most important information stands out. These are just a few examples of what you can create with the KPI visual by PowerVis. Now that you have seen the incredible potential of this visual, let's dive into a live example where I'll show you how to create a stunning KPI visual from scratch. So let's start by adding in the visual to our Power BI report. I've now added the visual here and let's start by adding in some of the key fields into the categories and the value section here. I'm going to bring in the category and then I also have the total sales measure created. I'm going to bring that into the values. And now you can see that I have a whole lot of options that are available as presets for me to choose from. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the visual from scratch. So I'm going to click on create here. And now I have different layers that can be added into our KPI visual. Let's start by creating or adding in a shape here. And then I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle here. And let me change the corner radius to let's say about eight. And then I can also choose the color palette. I have a single color palette here, or I can also choose to have a gradient. Let me enable the gradient here and then choose the colors here of my choice. I have the hex code that I want to use here. I'm going to click on apply. I have the another hex code here for the middle color and another hex code here for my maximum color. I'm going to click on apply here. I'll also be able to choose the gradient direction. First of all, let me just click on apply and you can see that the gradient, nice little gradient is now applied to the shape here. And I'll also be able to change the gradient direction. I'm going to choose this direction here and click on apply. And I'm happy with how this is looking right now. Let me quickly expand the shape here so that it's clearly visible. And now I can start by adding in some more layers to this particular shape. Let's start by adding in the sales value here I'm going to click on advanced layer advanced text layer and then I have the value button here which I can click and choose the measure that I want to display on my visual in this case I'm going to choose the field value here as value my value from the drop down here I've selected the total sales measure my sum here is going to be average you can also choose different aggregation if you would like to and then you have display as whether you want to display that value as actual or as percentage and then you also have some number formatting which you can choose from you can choose the display unit to begin with you have your thousands millions billions etc I'm going to leave it at auto for now and then you can also add a prefix I'm going to add a prefix of a dollar here and then I can choose the number of decimal that I want to display here and then I'm going to click on apply. I now have the value that is being displayed here and then let me click on apply again. I now have the value being displayed here. Let me quickly change the color of this particular value here. I can choose to either do conditional formatting or choose the color here of my choice. For now, I'm going to click on white here or select white here and then click on apply. Let me bring in the value that I have created here into the visual. I would now like to add the company's logo at the top right corner here. Let me click on show layers and then I can select add new layer. I have an image layer here that can be added. I'm going to click on image here. There are multiple options here that are available for you to add the image. I'm going to use the upload option and then click on browse. I'm going to locate the file where I have my logo saved and then I'm going to select that and then click on open. And now I can simply click on apply. I now have the logo added to my visual. I can simply drag and drop this to the location where I intend to display this visual and then resize it based on your liking and requirement. 
And now I would like to add another layer here which will display the monthly trend of sales. So let's click on show layers here and then click on add new layer. I'm going to now add a line chart here and then from the value drop down I'm going to select total sales and then under buy section here I only have category but I would like to display this by month so let's quickly add month into the category section. I'm going to add the month here from the calendar table into the category section and when I go to this drop down here I now have month being displayed I can simply click on apply. I now have the monthly sales being displayed on this line chart here. Let's go to the line chart and make some formatting changes here. First of all I'm going to change the line type here to spline so that it, the line looks curvy and then I have the line width that I can change with. I can also choose the color palette here. For now I'm going to leave it at white and I'm going to select white color here and click on apply and then let's scroll down here. I don't want the value highlights to be displayed however I want the minimum and maximum value to be highlighted here. I'm going to leave it at that and then I'm going to click on apply and I also don't want to show the data labels here and also I don't want to display the values here on the x-axis. Under axis here I can turn off the x-axis and then and then I'm going to also turn off the data labels and now I'm going to click on apply. I now have a nice clean line chart available here. Let me quickly resize and bring this into the visual here. Let's decide on the placements a little later. I first want to bring in all the layers that I want into this visual and then decide on where I want to exactly place them. And now I would like to add another uh, text layer here which will basically tell me that this is total sales that we are looking at. So let's click on advanced text here and then I'm going to simply call this as total sales sales and then I want this to be in bold. I'm going to select this and change this to bold and then click on apply and I also want the color here of my total sales to be in white because I have a dark background. I'm going to click on apply here. I now have my total sales text in white. I'm going to resize this and place this right over here and now I would also like to display what is the year over year change that has happened when compared to last year. So let's add some more layers to this visual now. I have a measure created here year over year percentage. I'm going to bring that into my value section and then I'm going to click on the advanced layer text. Click on value here. I'm going to choose the year over year percentage here and display value here as percentage and then click on apply. I now have the percentage being displayed here in case if you want to increase the number of decimals here you can do that right from here and then click on apply. You now have two decimals being displayed here and then I'm going to click on apply now. Now I would like to add an icon next to the percentage which will tell me whether it's a percentage increase or decrease and we can add this icon conditionally. I'm going to click on this FX button here next to the icon and then click on add rule which will conditionally let me add the icon of my choice. I'm going to choose the value field here from the drop down which is year over year percentage. If my year over year percentage is greater than value 0 then I want to display a particular icon and I have a whole lot of different icons that are available here for me to choose from. I'm happy to use this uptrend icon here which will basically indicate my sales have gone up when compared to last year and then I'm going to click on apply and I'm going to click on apply again and then I'm going to add another rule here and this time I'm going to choose year over year percentage and say if this is less than zero then I want a downtrend arrow which is available over here as well and then I'm going to click on apply and then click on apply again and then click on apply and now you can see that I have an arrow being displayed here conditionally based on the value that I have in my year over year percentage and let's also increase the size of this particular arrow here to about 28 just like how we have on the text here and also move this on the left side of the text and now I can simply click on apply. I now have my another layer added which will display the year over year sales percentage and then let's also change the color here to white which I forgot to do so and then I'm going to choose the color here to white and then click on apply, click on apply. I now have the white color applied to my values here. And now let's add another layer here which will basically turn the background of the percentage here to green whenever it is a positive percentage. Click on add new layer. I'm going to add a shape here. This time I'm going to again choose the rounded rectangle here and change the corner radius to let's say about 8. I'm going to use the single color palette here and instead of hard coding the color I'm going to conditionally change the color of the shape. I'm going to click on this FX button here and click on add rule and from the value field I'm going to choose year over year percentage. If the year over year percentage is greater than zero then I want the color here to return as green. I'm going to choose this green here click on apply and then click on apply. I'm going to add another rule here this time I'm going to choose year over year percentage and if this is less than zero then I want this to return red. I'm going to 
choose a little lighter shade of red here, click on apply and then click on apply again, click on apply again, click on apply again. And now you see that we have green color being displayed here. If I choose a different year here, for example, 2024, you will see that the shape color has now changed to red. I'm going to resize this shape here and bring this over here. I'm going to right click on the shape here and choose move backwards so that it moves one layer back. I've also now repositioned the text here so that it aligns within that particular shape. And now let's add another text layer. I'm going to click on text layer here and say versus last year because I want the users to know what percentage change this is. And then I'm going to change this to white here. I'm going to select the text here, change the color to white, click on apply, click on apply again. And now let me bring this text layer into my visual and resize this. With this, I have now added all the layers that I wanted on my visual. Now it's time for me to reposition and resize the layers that I have added into my visual. And here it is. This is how the KPI visual looks after resizing and repositioning all the layers. What's truly amazing about this visual is how easy it was to create from scratch. With PowerWiz intuitive interface, I was able to layer different elements, adjust their positions and fine tune the details in just a few clicks. We've just walked through how to leverage the powerful KPI visual by PowerWiz to create stunning dynamic visuals in Power BI. Whether you're tracking key metrics, visualizing performance, or just enhancing your reports with advanced formatting, this tool truly offers an all-in-one solution. To get started with the KPI visual, you can download it directly from Power BI App Source. I've included the link in the description below along with a sample report that you can use to practice and explore further. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below and we'll be happy to help.